Right, this is uh, actually a true story. Um, basically, the EDL came to Colchester in 2015. And, uh, yeah, I, I was sort of watching them as I was walking down East Hill. And I fucking tripped over and I made a hole in my jeans. And there was a, there actually was a staffy draped in a, a union jack. And he, he could have been their leader, you know what I mean? And I, uh, anyway, I wrote a poem about it and I've called it EDL March 2015. In Castle Park one Saturday out wandering about, I noticed banners on display and heard some voices shout, racist, fascist, Nazi scum, brainwashed right wing sheep. And wondering who, why, what, how come, I went and had a peep. And saw there, gathered on the green, nearby the swings and slides, two mobs with coppers in between, but no kids on the rides. Consumed by curiosity concerning the affair, I asked the WPC, what's going on down there? She said the EDL was here on a demonstration and warned me not to go too near in case of aggravation. I met my wife for a coffee, tea and heated up cheese scone, wandered off to HMV and heading home alone, I came across the EDL marching through the town. Hence, minded of the nasty smell that comes off something brown, I stood and watched them passing through, waving banners proudly, escorted by the boys in blue and Charting very loudly, I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm English till I die. But getting with their programme didn't gel with such as I, nor who the fuck is Allah? Which garnered no reply from a Middle Eastern fella with his family passing by. I walked a pace down East Hill, back past Castle Park, Antifa gathered there still let rip the odd remark in the enemy's direction as the EDL procession with matching police protection replied with like aggression. Finally, I was parallel with a hardy canine scrapper, a staffy, from what I could tell, that looked to be their gaffer. Ambling on the marsh's head with dignified restraint, draped in the white and red of George, our patron saint. Suddenly, I tripped and fell with little or no resistance. A PC asked if all was well and offer of assistance. I told him I was fine, thanks. I'd lost my concentration, staring at the mindless ranks of haters in formation. Although, in truth, I never said those valid words out loud. Antifa said it all instead. That far too small a crowd could see an infection spreading in as much as since that day, we're evidently heading ever more the far right way.